Well, I will get started in welcoming you all to another Third Thursday Artist Showcase. And thank you for joining us. I'm Nicole DeBoer with the Southwest Minnesota Arts Council. And today we are welcoming Seema Wiewitzer from Marshall. She is an artist who has received many grants from us. And I am going to um, minimize my screen here and read to you a bio that we posted for Seema during her last exhibit that she had at our Marshall Smock Gallery. So Seema Ahmed Wiewitzer is originally from Tehran, Iran. She began painting at the age of 13 and completed her studies at the University of Arts and Design in Tehran in 1978. She then moved to the United States where she continued her education at Macomb University in Chicago. After visiting and living in other cities, including New York, Miami, and Los Angeles, Seema moved to Minnesota in 2001. She says that the natural surroundings and landscapes of Minnesota have influenced her artwork. She has recently been concentrating on abstract landscapes. This has allowed Amid Wiewitzer to become one with her surroundings, which she said creates a relaxed and joyful environment for herself and others viewing her work. Seema quotes, the ideas in my work are healing, peace, freedom, and unique creativity. I like to create large sizes and that helps me to feel the freedom I am always looking for. Most of my works are happy colors with lots of movement and forms. Many times in my landscapes, I apply soft paint for the background surrounding thicker paint. I paint with my soul so I feel more comfortable and create better when I paint with my fingers because they touch my soul before I apply them to the canvas. I want to tell stories and be able to heal people with peace. Seema has been part of multiple exhibitions from New York to the Iranian culture show in Beverly Hills to the Sun City Museum of Art in Arizona. Her work was published in the International Contemporary Masters in 2012, and she received an honorable mention award in the Arte Vita International Competition in 2015. Seema received an individual artist grant from Smock in 2013 and 14. The public, oh, well, I was gonna say the public is invited to visit her exhibit, but, um, that would be the old part of the bio because that was for her last gallery exhibit. So thank you Seema for all of the work that you do um, to share your art with people. I know that Crystal has some photos that she would like to share. And then I think we'll open it up for questions and okay. um, let Seema talk a little bit about her work. Okay. Crystal? Crystal's going to share some pictures. So our pictures will go up high and you'll be able to see her work. Okay. Wonderful. Wow, they are yeah. wonderful. <laughs> that was vibrant and beautiful. Simo, please share some share some um, introduction of yourself and talk about your art, please. Okay. You know, every time I look at my artwork, I really love them. 
once I had exhibition, my other sister was there and I keep saying, oh God, I love this. I love that. I lo she said, Sima, you don't have to say that. Other people have to say that. I said, no, if I don't love my work, then nobody will. If I don't love them, nobody's going to love it. I have to love it myself first. Am I right? <laughs> so all the ones that you show, I think I had them in my last exhibition at the gallery, uh, in your gallery there in uh, Smock Gallery. And um, as I always mention, um, I didn't work too much this last year, but just before the COVID, I was working until three, four o'clock in the morning. When my husband goes to bed, I just start from nine o'clock. <laughs> so I'm painting constantly many, many, many hours. So. I have been to Seamus House and it is its own art museum. It is Thank beautiful. You. It's Thank beautiful. you. Thank you. Her art is everywhere, and she even has a uh, wall. How big is the wall in your living room? Maybe oh, it's 10 it's by 10? 10 feet by 10 feet? Yeah, yeah. It's um, that uh, sculpture on my wall is, uh, is the length is about 90, and the width is about 180. Yeah. And it's all three dimensional. Yeah. So it's it's thick. Like the sculpture yes. comes out yeah. from the wall. And then it's this vibrant, beautiful Thank colored you. artwork. It's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. I, the title is Loves Me, Loves Me Not from a title from a, an artist. I forgot who did it, but uh, it's it has a beautiful story about love that the girl wanted to know if her lover re really he loves her or not and she was putting the uh, pedals one by one to see and then the last one was left so she was so happy that she said oh he loves me so that's the title of that sculpture yeah what what elements one thing i notice about all your work is you have so much emotion in it and different pieces have different emotion you know you even have some pieces that have a lot of little funny creatures yeah. to find like you showed me that one on your wall yeah um, and, but so many of your uh artwork have a lot of uh, love emotion and passion Yes. Um, there's sadness. I've seen ones that want none to... of them. Oh no. Well, I think contemplation, let's say. I, I've seen ones with you have with the girl with her head down looking at flowers and she thinks it looks like she's thinking about things, you know. Huh. Yeah. 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 But where do you find that inspiration? Um in my country, Iran. Um, at the time we were younger, uh, we didn't have permission to have boyfriends or most of the marriage was, you know, the families, they put the girls and boys together and then they said, oh, not at my time, but maybe my older sisters. So I have one painting that is really uh, emotional and it's a little bit sad that she's sitting down and waiting the bird on her shoulder it has a letter for her from the lover that wants to say that he loves her and she's so sad waiting that's the only painting that I have is a little bit sad but most of my paintings are happy colors I work with acrylic my work is very modern acrylic on canvas. I like to work on canvas. 
And uh, since I came to Marshall and since I know you, you, Nicole, really, really inspired me and helped me to grow better and better every day. Well, that is far too kind. You are so, so talented. <laughs> Thank you very That's much. True. Thank you. Thank you. I don't need to keep talking. Um, we would be welcome questions or comments or things you want to ask Seema um, from anyone. And maybe when you um, unmute yourself, just say your name, even though it's typed on there. And so we know who's calling in. Mm. Before that, I'd like to say me and Homa, my twin sister, uh, she write poems. She write the most beautiful poems. We're going to have a book together uh, soon, uh, her poems and my paintings together. Oh, so. thanks. Wonderful. So did you collaborate on like, did you inspire each other? So meaning, Seema, did you paint something specifically for a poem Homa had written? Or did you write a poem that you thought was representing one of her artworks? Or, yes? Homa, you, you can answer that. Yes, I can answer. Um, actually, every poem I started writing from the beginning I was reading it for Seema and she would inspire me oh this is beautiful every time <laughs> I read my poem she said oh that's beautiful so that was that meant a lot to me to continue and uh, have more trust in myself Mm, so I started about 30 years ago and 30 years ago, I never would believe that I would have this many poems. And some of my poems were published in Persian magazines. And now about matching it with Seamus painting, it's really amazing. Some of them that we didn't even know at all they are perfect match. Oh, that's or, great. Yes. It's, without even making any decision, now I can tell this poem matches with this painting. This painting matches with this just by uh, accident. We never decided before. That's great. Mm -hmm. Where are you at in the process of that, of the book? Do you, have you gotten to the part where you're putting it together with an editor or a publisher or? We haven't started yet. Okay. But now that we, I am most, mostly home and I have time, I'm trying to organize and start. We yeah. have to start. Yes. Yes. Time to start. I hope we can publish it in English because then all the Persian people can read English too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, but, you, uh, you know, you can yeah. get a grant for a project like that. I can? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. You see, I told you, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> but you know what? Unfortunately, when the the poems translate, they lose uh, a lot of um, a lot of things in translations. Mm. So that, maybe maybe best to publish them. Um, you said in Arabic? No, Persian. In Farsi. In Persian. Farsi. Yes, in Farsi. Um, Maybe publish the, them with the photo, but then have a translation also. So maybe it's it's both languages. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's a great idea. And maybe you could hire an editor who does the translation and can work mm -hmm. directly with you, Homa, 
to yes. finesse yes. the words in English. So you feel mm -hmm. good about it. That's right. a great idea. Okay, now with Nicole's help, we can do, mm -hmm. we can start it sooner. <laughs> that will be great. Not wow. that I know uh, a professional editor that translates from Farsi. I don't know that I know anybody like that, <laughs> but I will help you find someone. Beautiful. Okay, good. I'm so happy. Mm. Right. Yep. Crystal or Carrie? Well, I only can be on for a few more minutes. I have to do dinner duty, but... Um, I liked what you said when you first were talking, when I first came on, how uh, how art has helped during COVID. I think it's, that's one thing I started to do. I started to watch virtual videos and trying to learn how to paint and draw. And so I'm very much a novice, <laughs> but um, I did put a small drawing in our Hutchinson Art Center um, community show. So that was a big step to do something like that. But um, it made me try to learn something new. I'm going to try to do an acrylic painting this week and I'm afraid to make a mistake. <laughs> so mm. that's, that's part of why I haven't gotten that far, but I like how you say that if you can't love your work, who else can? I think that's very important to remember when you're learning, um, in your process. So thank you for sharing that. Before mm -hmm. you, before you go, uh, Carrie, Seema, you, this now's a good time for you to plug your art classes. Mm -hmm. Tell tell her about your art classes that you're offering. Right now, yeah, yeah. Uh, the art classes. Thank God, I'm booked now. <laughs> uh, some somebody just sent me an email that she wanted to join, but I have to see if I can make room for her. Yeah. But uh, I applied for Minnesota State Art Board for individual artists and I was accept accepted. So um, I started my classes from uh, February 3rd at home until, until I uh, finished the um, registration for the gallery and now since two days ago, I started in the gallery, and I think I'm going to continue until probably May 1st. Wow. So she's doing free yeah. art classes. And I have, yeah, I have all ages from 5 to 60 years old. I have people that are all ages now. Yeah. And, and I'm... And Hutchinson would be quite a trip to make it, but... Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. I guess I just wanted to give you some encouragement, Carrie. I know you've got a lot of artists in the Hutch area, and, and uh, mm -hmm. art classes are just so invigorating. They get you, get you going mm -hmm. and thinking in a different way, so... And yeah, class starting classes was kind of just a fluke. I was on the internet or Facebook or something, and it was actually Rum River Art Center out of Anoka, that was oh. doing free virtual classes for a while. And that's how I started watching some of those. And then now Michaels has them and Joanne has them and all these other places yeah. have them. So mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of resources out there for people to try to learn to do that. But yeah, I'm also one of the new board members at the Hutch Center of the Arts. So that's kind of how I found out about, about Smock and all of that fun stuff. Love so. that place. <laughs> Love that place. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. Crystal, did you have anything you wanted to ask, Sima? Um, I just thought maybe a small fun question, just like what's your favorite color or do you have a favorite color? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, white and yellow. Wow. Or because they match with everything most of the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you like the the bright colors mostly yeah you're yeah. everything's so vibrant and alive in your artwork yeah yeah red yeah. all colors are they have their own places each color really uh has a value of its own mm -hmm. I the agree. time the <laughs> technique 
and the title, it, it affects the color. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, thank you for your time. And I'm excited to see your, you and your sister's project come to fruition. Um, I'll definitely look into it when it's out there. Thank you so, for joining us. Yes, yep. thank you. Here. Thank you. Homa, do you have any questions for your sister? For my sister? <laughs> she wants to know when I'm going to New York. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I really love, 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 love her work. You know, every time I look at her paintings, it gives me a lot of peace happiness proud can you show um, us homa can you show us the ones that are hanging behind in your wall i just showed them to oh good yeah okay uh, sure sure which one sima which one you want me to show that four season in one yeah okay let me oh, go you to have the to, other room. The Four Seasons is my favorite. No, it's okay. I'm here with my computer. This is the Four Seasons. Oh. Oh, it's hard to see. It's, uh -huh. it's big. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it is big. That's four seasons in huge. one. It's spring, summer, autumn, winter. I think I had that in the gallery. This is another one. Wait. You have to go down a little bit. Mother and daughter. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> there is... There is one that I really love. Sima, this is my favorite. This one with yellow in it. Mm -hmm. Go down. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is gorgeous. That, that is like reflection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. beautiful. Yeah. This one also. Mm -hmm. And this one is the, the bee. The bees, yeah, you said that before. I love that. <laughs> this, she has two this, bees in her eye. Yeah. Look at the bees in her eye. Mm -hmm. This is gorgeous. It's great. Okay. And I love that <laughs> frog. That's where I love that, that amusement that you add to some of your artwork. Thank Waterfly you. Waterfly bees. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this one, Sima, the Statue of Liberty. Oh, yeah, that's one of my best. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Huge. Amazing. Freedom. That's about freedom. Uh-huh. That's what I like about acrylic painting. Um, People ask me, why do I like ac acrylic? I think acrylic is all about freedom. It gives you freedom to do whatever you want. You do it fast, by fast. That's Yesterday, cool. I had a student. He, I asked him that, you have experience? He said, yeah. I said, okay, sit down and do one painting for me. And he was sitting little by little, doing a bird, little, little by little. I said, no, 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 no. I tell you in two minutes how to do a bird. <laughs> I just told him, just go look at, look at the lines and go by that. You don't have to sit down hours and hours and do a bird. That's what I like about um, abstract. Mm-hmm. It's mm -hmm. all about freedom. Freedom. Love yes. it. I yeah. love it. <laughs> well, it's been so good to chat with you for the last 30 minutes. Thank I, you so much. I love having you on and, and love hearing you describe your own work. That's been really cool. Thank you, Nicole. You have yeah. always been so great for me. 
I grew up more and more with you. You have always been so special for me. Wow. And you know you. that. Thank you. And I really I am appreciate it. <laughs> she always talks about <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so much, that's people. great. Thank you. Thank well, you. Well, I'm anyone on our staff is happy to help you um, learn more or figure out how you want to proceed in your newer, your new idea project or your book project is what I'm trying to say. Yes. So we can talk about that one of the days that you're in the office working with your That students. will be great. That will yep. be great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, Ready thank to you. Start. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Homa. Join us. Bye, Homa. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Nice meeting Thank you. you. Nice Nicole. meeting everybody. Thank you. Okay. Have a great night. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Thank you.